Welcome to elementary. I hope you've had an awesome day. However, you did you did spend today. Mondays could be amazing days, or they could be a little harder depending on how your day went. Um, I look at Mondays as a good reset because being a realtor, you know, we're showing homes on the weekend. So Monday is kind of my, you know, catch everything day. It's the day that I use to, um, to really kind of, uh, see if I can, um, catch up on anything that I missed or really plan for the next. end your day. My guest is going to ask to join any minute and um, I'm excited for today's show. I'm always excited. I'm excited every Monday when I do a show. Um, yeah, so my guest is going to ask to join and I am then going to get started, but so far I am still waiting. So um What's happening in the real estate market? Let's talk about that in, in the meantime, before my guest um, gets online. So out here in the greater Toronto, Toronto area, every market is quite different, I must say. And so from whichever area, whichever pocket you're in, um, the market is quite different. But the one thing we're seeing is the condo market is still struggling. Um, However, the smaller homes, townhomes, those are the ones that seem to be doing really, really good. And um, those are the ones that are having, um, you know, I mean, there are multiple offers on more than just those townhomes. There's also multiple offers on larger homes. Um, but I think people are looking Perfect, my guest is going to ask to join any minute now. Yeah, so, you know, the market is changing and hello. Oops. How are you? Good. Can you hear me? Yes. How's your day? It's been great. And you? It's good. It's good. It's been, uh, I wish there were more hours. That's okay. Yes, yes, yes. Always wish there were more hours, don't we? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes absolutely. So, um, is it okay if I introduce myself? Yes, yes, let's get started. Introduce yourself and, and, and your Instagram handle, if I can speak, Perfect. we'll be okay. Um, so, my name is Cornell Tella. I'm a mortgage professional with the Minion Lemon Center uh, TLC Mortgage Group. Uh, I've been in the industry for eight years. And um, the opportunity to help people, uh, I, I don't think that there's anything else that I, I would want to do just for the fact that uh, you could see somebody in a, a challenging situation, be able to take them to a better spot. And even if they're in a good spot, you can take them to a great spot. Uh, so with things constantly <laughs> changing, it's, it's definitely needed for, for people to be in the business that are honest and uh, that want to help people sincerely. Uh, so I, I feel fortunate that I could do this. Yeah. Um, my Instagram handle is at ctmortgages.ca. Um, sorry, uh, at ctmortgages. Um, ctmortgages. Yes, perfect. So we had a comment from Source Child that says absolutely 100%. So yeah, absolutely. If we can help people in any way, that makes such a big difference, especially, you know, in what we do, right? Like being a realtor, being a mortgage broker, you know, people are vulnerable when they come to us, right? And it's so important for people to really find the right connections be able even for me to be able to trust uh, someone that I send my clients to that's like huge for me right um and at the end of the day it's not just about buying the house it's actually so much more than that right 
so much more. So where, where are you, like, which areas do you service and where exactly are you located? So I, I know it might sound ridiculous, but all over Vaughan and really COVID has, um, I guess, allowed many, many mortgage professionals to, to be in that situation where mm -hmm. uh, most clients, they prefer to do things remotely, right? So whether it's, um, you know, validation through Zoom or a, uh, a meets call. And, um, you know, there are situations, times where you would meet with a client directly when they would need to. And that's really when, you know, maybe they're, they're further on in life, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit uh, older in age and uh, technology may not necessarily be yeah. something that they're as comfortable with. So in that case, you, you definitely get in the car and you, you go to meet with them to ensure that all things are explained and they're, they're at ease with uh, what it is that they're getting into. So I, I have clients all over the province. Um, it's, um, <laughs> it's definitely better than having to drive two hours or, or three hours to, to see somebody. So technology has played a huge role with um, being available uh, everywhere. No, absolutely. And it's so helpful, really. It's so helpful. Um, you know, at least to make that connection, right? It makes a big difference. You can you can talk to a person on the phone, um, and and there's something about that face to face connection that makes it or breaks it one way or the other. But yeah. I think it's important to that we have technology to help us with that for sure. I want to tell our viewers before we get into the questions that there's a question icon or the comments icon. I'm going to monitor it. And so if you have a question specifically for us, drop it in one of those areas. We'll try to get to it today. If not, we'll, we'll make sure we get you the answers either way. So let's start off with the obvious, obvious, <laughs> the obvious, obvious. What's going on? Like what's, what's trending? Let's just say what's trending in your I think, world. I, I think what's always trending and it's, it doesn't have to necessarily be my world specific, but everybody's obsessed with the Bank of Canada and what they're going to do. Um, you know, the reality is they meet eight times for the year scheduled, uh, but there's absolutely no control that we have, right? At the end of the day, if you're in a situation where you absolutely need to purchase, uh, then by all means, you get pre-qualified and ensure that it's within your means, it's within your budget, and mm -hmm. um, you you move forward with that. If it's a matter of your, your renewal coming up, then you take care of that. If it's you know, a situation where you need to consolidate uh, your, your finances and you, you do a refinance or equity takeout, then you go that route. But um, you know, the, the biggest thing that everybody speaks about is uh, the Bank of Canada, and I wish that we could just mute it uh, slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right. And people want to know. And honestly, I, I agree with you. People are obsessed with their announcement. And you're right. We have no control. I mean, and even even the economists, you know, don't get it right. So, I mean, you're absolutely right. People need to do what's right for them in the moment. Um, and timing the market is so impossible. Like, I know everybody wants to buy uh, low and sell high. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, but timing the market is quite impossible. Sometimes it just happens to work out um, quite well. And, um, and it so happens that people, you know, um, get, you know, the timing correct, or it just happens to be at that time. But you're right, people should just do what's right for them and buy what they can afford and take those baby steps that people used to do back in the day, right? So I wanna ask you, um, there's, there's been some like questions coming up lately. And so, you know, the, the line of questioning will be based on what I'm being kind of people are asking or hot topics, that kind of stuff. So what is, or what are flow downs? If you can explain to, that's that's a great question, uh, Jacqueline. So, let's let's say, for instance, you you have a client um, that uh, we 
we've been helping a mutual client. We've been helping together. Uh, they're moving forward, and they have a firm, uh, firm offer that that's accepted. Um, you know, the the closing doesn't take place for ninety days, but the Bank of Canada has you know another rate announcement that's that's coming up next month. Uh, you know, let's say sixty days. So within April, there's there's another one that's that's approaching, and um, you know the rate goes down. Well, you can't necessarily walk into your bank once you have that commitment issued to you and request that they they give you uh, a better rate. That's not going to happen. It's like, you know, you walk into to Walmart and you buy a TV and uh, you're not going to expect the person that was helping to carry the TV out to your car uh, to come back and, you know, give you a call in 14 days to say, hey, the price went down. That's not going to happen, right? Um, well, in the broker channel, what we have access to are specific lenders that uh, should the rates change before the closing date, we're able to go back to them and uh, send a request to say, hey, we'd like the rate to be adjusted uh, to what the current rate is, and they'll do that for you. So a float down is when you, you have a particular rate, uh, you have the request from that lender if they're um, party to that program, and uh, they'll adjust the rate for you. So um, you don't have to worry about being tied to, to something that's going to be higher. So we'll always get you the best rate, no matter what. Okay, that's good. Good to know. So as moving on, is there anything to protect consumers? You know, see, the, the, the big issue that I find when we get into this multiple bid situation is people, you know, giving up their conditions, right? And um, and one of the conditions obviously would be financing. So is there any way to, you know, protect um, um, consumers if they choose to skip like inspection or, or those conditions? Yeah. Well, you know what, it's, it's gonna be your expertise to, to state whether or not they should skip an inspection. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't, recommend it myself, but if they were to, um, there are some lenders, quite a few actually, that we have access to that will protect you uh, with a home warranty. And what that means is they'll take care of your, your furnace, they'll take care of your electrical, they'll take care of your plumbing, they'll take care of your, your air conditioning. Um, some, the, the offerings are a little bit different in terms of the length of uh, service. Uh, some are one year, some are for the life that you have uh, the mortgage with them. Um, mm -hmm. And you'll you'll pay a $50 deductible for the, the technician to come to your, your home, uh, but they'll continue to repair the product. Some will replace it up to $10,000 of the cost, uh, but that's it's an amazing, amazing uh, program, right? So especially in situations that you just you just spoke of, uh, you don't want to. You don't want somebody to call you at uh, you know ten thirty at night on a Sunday evening in the the midst of July, and it's you know earlier in the day it was you know plus thirty, and their their kids can't go to sleep because it's so hot because their air conditioner broke down. Well, you don't have to take that you know on your shoulders anymore. Uh, whereas you call the the lender directly, and uh, those source. Uh, assistance for them to get help in order uh, for that that repair. You know, I I remember years ago, uh, maybe seven years, six seven years ago now, uh, I had a problem with my furnace, and uh, mm -hmm. the heat didn't stop. It, it, it was early November, but it was freezing that night. And to to get uh, a service tech the next morning, it was like three hundred and eighty dollars. So just thinking about the type of value that you're getting. Uh, through just just having a mortgage is uh, it's it's really good, especially in times like these. Not everybody offers that though, right? No. So there are some who no. offer that. Yeah. No, you're not. You're not going to go to the bank. You're yes. you're not going to go to any of the of five, the, the five banks and uh, and get that. So. Yeah. No. No. That's for sure. And it makes a big difference, right? Because it's you know, and I'll maybe take a little bit of. Um, 
um, a minute to kind of add to this, right? Because from from our perspective as a realtor, right? You know, people will say, well, put these clauses into place. Now, US is a little different. Ours is a little different. People will say, you know, you should, you you know, put all these clauses into place, right? And sometimes, sometimes too much is just too much, right? Yeah. You know, like I, I see people putting in clauses, like I, I was doing a deal and I'm seeing all these clauses and I'm like, what is this for? And the guy couldn't even tell me what it was for, but he put it into the deal. I'm like, like now you're freaking me out with all these clauses. This is something you're not telling me, right? So I started getting, and, and you know, I'm kind of very like, I will keep scratching until I get the answer, right? Like this is just my personality. And, you know, now I'm thinking, okay, are you like trying to hide something from me? Like, why are you putting all these unnecessary clauses that are flagging it? But really what it comes down to, I think for me, it's that legal piece of it where, um, okay, this breaks down, who's going to pay for it? And can they replace it? If they can't fix it, how do they replace it? Do they replace it with a used uh, one? Do they replace it with a different brand name? This becomes like a whole different legal issue that you can literally lose like a deal over, right? Like, yeah. because people get sometimes get a little crazy about how things pan out, right? And, um, and you know, we always say it's never over till it's over, right? Um, because you could be, be like so close to closing a deal and, and it could just fall apart because of somebody who's just digging deep, right? Yeah. So, I mean, this is a great op- option, obviously, to be able to get that peace of mind, um, should something, you know, break down and, you know, at least again. Yeah. Never wish for it, but be... the reality is that something will happen at some point, right? And you, you think about the, the the areas of the home that would really cost the most in terms of repair, right? Or that you would need the most. You need your water in the house. You need the electricity, right? You need your furnace. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, as as much as you might be able to do without uh, your your AC, you, you need that in the summers that we have. So, yeah, yeah, yeah no, for sure, for sure, that makes um, that's actually pretty pretty good. So, um, are there questions that you believe? And so, if any of you have any questions, you know, drop it below and we'll we'll take some questions but are there questions you believe consumers should know before they seek a mortgage like yeah yeah uh you know it's it's not a, a shot or you know any sort of you know disrespect to anybody that works within in the banks uh but you you don't know what you don't know i i know that that term is probably used quite a bit and you know some might be tired of it but oftentimes you'll go into the bank and you're going to get the wrong product. Um, you know, the reason I say that is because there's there's major differences amongst uh, types of variable products. Whereas, you know, the average consumer, when you, you say Bank of Canada, you think of um, mutual funds, uh, you, you think of uh, uh, anything that really fluctuates, so HELOCs, uh, you think of uh, variable mortgages, um, but there's actually two types, right? There's uh, the type of variable mortgage that fluctuates, right? It's mm-hmm. The variable, and then uh, in terms of your your payments, and then there's static, so your adjustable that remains the same, uh, but your interest and your principal will will alter based on what's happening through with the Bank of Canada. Um, so, you know, when you go to the the bank and, and you tell them that you, you want a product, they don't necessarily um, know what you're looking for because we've heard many complaints of, of clients saying, well, you know, I didn't know that this was going to happen. And, you know, really the number, it could be as high as 80%. I don't have an exact uh, figure mm-hmm. of it, but it really could be that high. Um, so having somebody that understands the difference, but also access to what they're looking for is important because um, when when the, a consumer is looking to get a mortgage, they're not um, saying they, they want a good rate. When you hear people say that, they're actually saying, um, I want a good payment, right? They, they don't want to pay more than they should have to. That's what it comes down to. So 
reading between the lines and, you know, asking more questions. We have intake forms uh, called the Know Your Client form uh, that everybody needs to, to complete prior to processing a mortgage. Um, so we fully understand uh, what their situation entails. Um, you know, maybe they're, they're um, rate sensitive because of uh, personal finances, right? Maybe, you know, they could only go X amount of dollars extra for the month. And, you know, if rates were to go up significantly, then that would put a huge damper on their, their family life. Um, so knowing exactly what their situation is and, you know, how to be able to, to navigate that for them and provide solutions is extremely, extremely important. So, you know, we don't have all answers within one box. It's, you know, multiple that we're able to, to pick from. So everybody's uniquely uh, taken care of. Yeah. I think it's so important for people to really understand what they're getting into. And quite frankly, I've noticed um, people are, um, I, I don't, you know, almost bashful. Because they don't want to ask questions that they think are answers they should know. And they, sh they don't need to know all these answers because they don't work in this industry, right? I mean, I'm not a mortgage broker. So, you know, obviously I want to partner with someone that I can, you know, trust that will give my clients the good, the, the answers, right? And not so much rates important, but, but a discounted mortgage <laughs> um that you get just because of a rate i will tell people to stay away you know i mean if you if if you didn't get good clauses that go along with it you know the rate makes no difference you'll never get out of it you know because no. there's so many other ways they they tie you in but you're right like working with a mortgage broker um you know i'm a believer that they are there to actually work for you to to help you with what you need to break it down, make you understand. And I think a lot of times people actually um, think a mortgage is a mortgage is a mortgage, right? Which is not, it's they're not so all wrong. equal, right? Yeah. And so, um, so important to really kind of figure out how you, um, how you, you, you know, find someone who you can trust to give you those answers. Um, I mean, let me ask you maybe one extra question. Like, let's say you're working with someone. They just come in. They, you know, start to work with you. You know, what's a bit of your process to get them through where they need to go with, to, to get a mortgage, you know? Well, the, the first thing is always an intake call, right? So to, mm -hmm. to introduce uh, myself and to, to get a better understanding of uh, who they are and what's um you know what their situation is mm -hmm. uh the this the next thing after that would be completion of uh, a mortgage application so once they go through um there's a key there's an email that's sent back to them in regards to items that they'll they're required in order to upload uh so it's impossible for me just you know to, to go through and say i'm going to approve this and they're going to be good to go to the next steps with just word of mouth uh, they have to provide, uh, you know, income verification or income documents. So their pay stubs, um, their uh, their T four notice of assessments, right? It's crucial for us to be able to validate income. Uh, you know, if it's off by a hundred dollars, by a thousand dollars, that's it makes a significant difference. So we want to be as accurate as possible when coming down to the the nitty gritty of trying to pinpoint what that number looks like for them in terms of affordability. That's the, the, that's the second step. Uh, third would be, um, you know, what's their, their connection in terms of a, a realtor, right? So uh, were, are they working with somebody already? Uh, in a lot of cases that, that happens. And if that's the case, I would get a general idea of you know what type of properties they'd be looking to to purchase, whether it's a condo or a house. And the reason I say that is because with condominiums, obviously there's there's property mm -hmm. taxes. There there are on all properties in in uh, uh, the country mm -hmm. um, or Ontario. Um, but next to that, there's also maintenance fees associated mm -hmm. with it. And these are things that get uh, they're affected when it comes down to. 
um, the, the holistic application and it affects uh, their purchase ability because these are expenses monthly that they have to take care of. So once we've identified the type of property and we can get an estimate of what they're going to be looking at, then I could say, okay, you go forth and you're, you're able to, to start shopping. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. <laughs> so um, at that point, we're able to provide you with a, a pre-approval. Um, whether we submit it through a lender and we'll, we'll get you a commitment for 120 days, uh, you have that time that you're able to go forth and, and start shopping. Um, we don't necessarily need an employment letter um, at that very point. We would pull credit bureaus ahead of time because if there's something that's on the bureau that's hurting them mm -hmm. and they may not necessarily be aware of it, you know, when it comes time to make the purchase, then it puts everybody in a bad spot. So we check everything ahead of time to make sure that uh, there's, you know, there, there's no skeletons in the closet, if you will. And um, it's it's safe for them to, to move forward. Uh, when they find a, a, a property and uh, you've, you've selected everything, it's, you know, in good standings, we could then request the employment letter. We already have the other documents. Uh, it makes things very easy to submit to the lender uh, to get back a, a quick approval and um, an easy, uh, a easy situation uh, now in terms of being able to get the, the, the document signed by the client and sent back to them. So Perfect. the process is pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, the biggest thing is communication and being able to explain it along the way. Uh, one thing that I, I do is, um, I create a, a WhatsApp group with the, the client and the, and the realtor. Um, and that way, if it's a matter of, you know, the uh, documents coming in, I'll let them know that, or everybody's on the same page and knowing that everything's been uploaded. Uh, once it goes to the, the lender, <coughs> sorry. Um, uh, once an approval comes back, once documents have been signed, um, when it's been uh, broker approved, uh, broker complete um, once it goes to uh, the solicitor and everything's been signed there and it's a solicitor complete and it's just a matter of them waiting for their closing day so uh, communication is is crucial in this this process mm -hmm. uh, because you know your mind could be your best friend but also your worst enemy if you don't know what's going on it's very easy to assume you know where's mm -hmm. cornell where's jacqueline what's going on uh, what's happening. So transparency is, is paramount. I yeah, know that's key for sure. So I think we're, we've come to the end of today and I dying to ask you a whole bunch of other questions, but we'll probably save it for another show. No um, but I want to thank, thank you for your time um, that you spent with me today. Thank I really for appreciate it. Our viewers appreciate it. Um, and for all of you watching at home, my name is Jacqueline Watson. Um, once again, I do the show Mondays at six. I'm a realtor in Toronto and the greater Toronto area. And um, yeah, so thank you for your time. But before we go, tell viewers how they can get a hold of you again um, for any mortgage needs. Absolutely. Uh, um, my handle on Instagram is at ct mortgages um at ct m o r t g a g e s or call me directly uh, 416-568-3962 um cornell uh, tulla at dominion lender dominion lending center tlc mortgage group perfect so you know you got his information so don't hesitate he's going to wait for your call and so for all of you listening, thank you so much for your time. I so appreciate it. And until next week or next time, we'll see you then. Have a nice evening.